Hello everyone, I am Shravya. The title of our project is Pet Finder. The main motto behind our project is to provide shelter for abandoned pets. For our instance, we consider dogs and cats in our project. This is the landing page of our project. Here we have included small animations for these buttons. And also all the dogs and cats which are available for adoption are displayed in the home page. If a user wants to adopt any pet, he has to first log in. So the new user has to first sign up. While signing up, in the, while typing the first name, if the user enters any numbers, then there will be an alert. Same with the username. And every user must enter unique email ID and the username. If he enters some email ID or the username which is already in the database, then he will not be signed up. And the password must be of at least eight characters. After signing in, the user will be redirected to the login page. Here, if he enters wrong credentials, then there will be an error saying that the username uh, or the password is wrong. After entering current credentials, the user will be redirected to the home page. If he enters the wrong credentials, then there will be an error. After logging in, we can see the user profile and request and also the login button is changed to the logout button. If the user wants to add any pets for adoption, he has to go to the add pets page and here enter the name of the pet. In the pet page, this is an optional field, vaccinated and trained. These are also optional fields and without selecting the category, if the user wants to enter the breach, then there will be an error saying that please select the category first. So he has to select either a cat or a dog. Based upon the category which he has selected, then the, there will be an auto suggestion list for all the breeds of the dogs. And the location, for the location, we have used Google APIs. Now coming to the color, the color field is not a mandatory field. And the email ID. Phone number of the user. And the description about the pet. For uploading the files, we have used Malter and Cloudinary and also we have compressed the images which are sent by the user. After adding a pet, the user profile will be updated with the pets which he has uploaded. Here in the uploaded pets category, we can see the pet which we have uploaded. In the uploaded pets category we can edit the details of the pet we can edit the name and all and also we can change the image of the pet or delete it now coming to the dogs page here all the dogs which are available for adoption are displayed with the zoom in effects and also the details. If the user wants to get the details of any particular dog, he can get the details of that dog, saying its name, the category of that, and the breed, age, and all. If the user wants to adopt this pet, after clicking on the adopt button, the request will be sent. 
Now in the request page, we can see the pet here. Also, there will be an email sent to the user saying that the request for the adoption of the pet. Now also we have included likes for the pets. If the user likes any pets, now in the user profile, under the category of the liked pets, we can see those pets, these pets. Also, the unliking is there. If the user unlikes the pet which he has liked, then that will be gone from the liked pets. Then that will be gone from the liked pets. Also for the user profile, there is an edit option. Here we can see the name of the user, the email ID and all. Here also the user can edit his profile. He can change the first name, last name and the email address. Also the profile picture of the user can be changed. Same with the cats page. These are all the cats which are available for adoption with the same zoom in effects. And also we can get the details of these cats. The details of these cats. So now if the user wants to get the details of any particular breed, here we have the dog breeds and the cat breeds. Inside the dog breeds, we have the auto suggestion list. We have the auto suggestion list for all the dog breeds. If the user selects any particular breed of the dog, he can get the details of that dog breed. It's the, li the lifespan of that particular breed, the weight and the height, and the image of that breed. We have got this from Dogs API. And if the user searches for any dog which is in our database, a particular breed is also in our database. So then there will be all the details of that breed. Now, same with the cat traits. Inside this cat traits, we have showed all the traits of the cats. If the user wants to get details of any particular breed of the cat, then he can see all those here. For this, we have used cat API. And now coming to the adopted page, these are all the pets which are adopted by the users. Now, coming to the challenges which we have faced, the main challenge is with the APIs. Sometimes the APIs were down and we struggled for that. And now coming to the scope of our project, in the home page we have shown the search bar and we have not implemented it. So in future, we can implement the search by location option also. And also we can elaborate our uh, project because we have only done this for dogs and cats. We can also do this for other pets as well. And coming to the logout and the login sign up part, all the passwords of the users are hashed. So inside the database, only the hashed passwords are saved. And also every page of our project is responsive. Thank you.